Hey YouTube friends, we are at Anthracite Outdoor Adventure area and we are doing Trail 20 today and uh, I was just gonna like let you see the beautiful scenery and see what Trail 20 looks like. It's a, just a green kind of connector trail that um, connects a bunch of trails together and uh, we're leaving ex the Excalibur BA area right now and we are heading it uh, back basically back toward the gate in that basic direction. So anyway, the topic of today is shackles, like what are they and uh, what are they for? The shackle itself is used to connect things together, like specifically, you see them on bumpers sometimes attached there, and uh, you use them to um, like connect like a recovery strap like to your bumper, or like to connect your winch to uh, um, somebody else's bumper, let's say, or to connect a uh, um, tree saver to a winch. Like anytime you have something that needs to be connected together, um, you need some kind of shackle or something and uh, so this is like a traditional shackle and the important thing is um, all the different shackles have different breaking strengths um, and usually if you look on the shackle like you'll see a number and that number will tell you what the breaking strength is the breaking strength on shackles is usually pretty ridiculous if you have a, a decent shackle um, this shackle here is rated for 18,000 pounds and it actually said it should say that on there somewhere um, 18,000 and obviously the Jeep weighs somewhere between four to six thousand pounds depending on uh, you know how big your Jeep is and stuff um, so you know obviously 18,000 pounds divided by four is some pretty simple math it means that like you could tie four Jeeps together and uh, lift them off the ground hypothetically and have all four of them attached onto that shackle and the shackle shouldn't break um, so yeah um, make sure that the, the shackle is um, rated properly obviously um, so I personally don't like this style of a shackle um, what I prefer is a soft shackle this is what a soft shackle looks like it basically is a winch line that has like a knot on one side and then a little uh, loop on the other side and you can open it up and close it and uh, it basically is as strong as a winch line itself and uh, so some people are like have like concerns about you know the difference between oh I have steel versus I have like this little rope um, this little rope is rated for 40,000 pounds that's uh, twice as much as other shackle someone might say I'm not making a fair comparison between the two of these shackles um, mainly because the shackles come in different sizes and obviously you can get a bigger metal shackle or a smaller one and you can get a bigger rope shackle or a smaller one and you could argue that you know one of them is rated more than the other but my point is just to say they both um, are rated well more than enough to be like completely safe because like they're both rated for three or four if not ten times the weight of the Jeep and so that you shouldn't have any kind of concern over one breaking over the other one breaking so why do I like one over the other um, so on the steel shackle you have to use it in the correct direction that is to say um, if you look at the steel shackle picture again um, you cannot use it going left to right um, where the cotter pin is at the top instead it has to be going in the other direction so it would have to be going um, up and down okay so first off you could easily make a mistake um, setting up a steel shackle if you don't know that simple fact to, to not use it in the other direction because it's, it's not strong at all like going sideways it's only strong in the one direction so with a rope one it doesn't really matter like like which direction like it's sitting like it, it's equally strong so it's a little bit safer to use um, if you don't know like what you're doing the other reason why I really like um, soft shackles is because of their weight um, if I have like just like one of those in my backpack, I can feel the difference like in weight. If I try to put it in my pocket or in my jacket or whatever, because I think I'm gonna go do a recovery, it just um, the metal ones are super super ridiculously heavy. Let alone thinking you're gonna carry like two of them or something like that. The rope ones are really ridiculously light. Like they're they are so convenient. I like I wouldn't even mind um, if I was on a ride having it in my pocket and just carrying it around for the whole ride. Like it wouldn't bother me at all because um, it's so lightweight. Um, it's it's like lighter than like say your phone um, it's just very very um, lightweight and, and easy and soft um, where you know with that big giant metal heavy um, steel thing um, is just um, a bothersome you know like to carry around and bothersome to use and um, sometimes you have to get tools out to try to like like get them to open up because like they kind of like the, the threading kind of freezes up a little bit so it's like nowhere near as like easy to use um, and then the other thing 
Okay, sometimes people mount these steel shackles like on their bumper uh, because there's a spot because it looks cool to have them on your bumper. Um, I, don't, I don't really care for that either. Number one, they clank and make noise, which is kind of annoying. Um, number two, um, if you don't properly secure them, like they will fall off. Like we found so many of them laying on the trail, like it's just like stupid, like they will fall off. Um, the only way that like you can make them so they don't fall off is like you can either run a zip tie through the, um, the pin's hole and then um, through the shackle itself, which is the way, the way I prefer to do it if you do that. Um, or you could use like a crescent wrench or something like that and uh, like make it stu stupid tight. But the problem with like making it stupid tight is now you no longer have an easy connection point to connect something to it um, because like it's really difficult to get off. So anyway, hopefully that helps out. And uh, so uh, please uh, like and subscribe and uh, we will see you on the trail later on.